Do you know that you all have the same problem as me? That's right. Everyone in this audience today, you have this problem. And just like you, I was never given a process to solve this problem. Do you want to know what the problem is? Creating change. Think about the last time you tried to lose weight by changing your diet and adding exercise. How did it go? Or what about the time when you tried to spend more time with your family by leaving the office early and not working on the weekends? How long did that last? Or what about the time when you tried to improve your finances by spending less money and saving more? What happened then? We all struggle to create change and live the life that we want to live. In my decade of working in wellness, I can tell you that there are three steps to help you create change, any type of change in any area of your life. And not just positive change that lasts weeks or months, but lasting change that becomes a part of who you are. I call this model the staircase of change, and I'd like to share it with you today. Are you ready? I'll start off by sharing a story to highlight the first step of change, which is to be present. Anyone in here ever grow up going camping? I mean camping, like in an actual tent, show of hands. I grew up in Massachusetts, and my family and I would always go camping in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. I remember this one trip. The weather was so perfect. My brother and I, we went bike riding, we swam at the lake, we even went fishing. And then on the last day, it started to rain. Now let me be clear, these weren't the days where you could easily pull out your cell phone from your pocket and check the weather forecast. So my family and I decided to wait it out in the car. Well, the clouds got darker, the rain kept coming down even harder, and it was full out pouring at this point. I believe it was when we looked towards our campsite and saw our tents beginning to float <laughs> that my dad took that as the green light to turn on the car and drive us out of the campground. It was a storm. Have you ever been driving in a storm where the rain is coming down so hard that even with your windshield wiper set on the highest setting, it still doesn't clear the water off the windshield? Have you ever been in a storm where you're gripping the wheel as tight as possible and all you can see is the brake lights of the car in front of you? You try and try not to swerve off the road. You try and try not to cause an accident. You try and try to be present. Think about it. In life, there's always a new storm, and often one you didn't forecast. Whether you received an alarming health diagnosis, or a loved one passes away unexpectedly, or you lose your job, there's always a new storm making it difficult to create change. So when you're in your next store, storm, in order to be present, I want you to ask yourself a few questions. Take an inventory, if you will. First, do you have consistent self-care practices in your life for your mental, emotional, and physical health? Self-care is a secret weapon that allows you to show up with confidence and energy in every aspect of your world. Next, ask yourself, are you spending more time in the relationships that exhaust you or more time in the relationships that revive you? Life's honestly too short to spend it with mean people or with those who don't share your same values. And finally, ask yourself so that you can be present, just ask this question, are you living life in your element? What's your element? 
Your element is when you're living life, pursuing your passion, and sharing your natural gifts and talents with the world. I believe that every single person in this audience today has a calling, and you deserve to live your life with purpose. This is how to take the first step on the staircase of change. Like all staircases, if you stay on that first step, you really won't get to the top. So the second step on the staircase of change is to get direction. Anyone here ever been to Hawaii? It's everything they say it is, am I right? My wife Lindsay and I had the opportunity to go to Hawaii before the birth of our little girl Mia. At the time, I had never heard of this term, but this is what's called a baby moon. It's a celebratory vacation for just you and your spouse before the birth of your child, before you enter into parenthood. Well, I really messed this one up because I invited my parents. <laughs> At the time, we were living in North Carolina. My folks were up in New Hampshire, so we decided to connect in Phoenix. I remember walking up to the gate, seeing my dad, and giving him the biggest hug. And then something hit me on my left arm. It was the corner of a manila folder. I said, Dad, what's in the folder? He said, Jeff, I got the MapQuest printouts for all the different excursions we're going on. <laughs> I couldn't help myself but laugh. And I said, Dad, I'm pretty sure Hawaii has GPS. <laughs> Think about it. In life, this is why change is so hard. Because it's so easy to get lost when you don't have a map. Whether you want to change careers, strengthen a relationship, or improve your health, you have to get direction by asking yourself just a couple of questions. First of all, what do you want? What do you truly internally want? Define the destination and don't ever should on yourself. Too often, people go after changes that aren't their own. Next, ask yourself, when you reach your destination, how will your life be different? How will it improve? Get connected to the motivation and the impact your change will make. This is how to take the second step on the staircase of change. Disclaimer time. Third step is the hardest, but it's also the most important. The final step on the staircase of change is to take action. For this step, I'm gonna use a jump rope. You just witnessed what is called a double under. This is when a jump rope passes under your feet twice on a single jump. Although I made it look easy today, <laughs> this is a skill that takes many people or a few people weeks to learn and many people speaking from personal experience multiple years. I remember trying to learn double unders. I was scared and worried that I would never get it. I was frustrated that those around me could easily do it. And I wanted to go back to single unders, a skill that I was already comfortable with. Here's the thing about double unders. They require coordination, agility, timing, and lots of practice. Think about it. In life, if you don't take action, put in the effort, and practice, you'll never achieve anything. When you practice, 
you get better. It's that simple. And to drive this point home even further, quoting one of the greatest tennis players of all time, Andre Agassi, if you don't practice, you don't deserve to win. So whether you want to build an exercise routine into your life or save a certain amount of money from your paycheck each week, you can take action today by asking yourself just one question. What's the one routine that if you practice it, if it becomes a skill, leads you to the life that you want to live? Let me ask you that just one more time. What's that one routine that if you practice it, if it becomes a skill, leads you to the life that you want to live? This is the third step on the staircase of change. As our time together comes to a close, I want to remind you that staircases are a series of steps leading you from one floor to another floor. They are built in homes and buildings so that we can go up and down them. And not just once, but again and again. Too often we fall into thinking that taking a step back is considered failing. When in reality, taking a step back could just mean giving yourself time to be present again. So when you're in your next storm, don't forget the life you want to live is just three steps up. Be present. Get direction. And take action. <laughs>